The way that we store our food can determine whether our food gets eaten or thrown in the bin. Unfortunately, simple things can go wrong despite our best intentions. In Australia, we throw out $2.18 billion in leftovers and $566 million in takeaways. One of our biggest mistakes is putting our leftovers in the fridge, they get shoved to the back, and by the time you find them in a couple of weeks, they're going into the bin. So what do we do? Well, we organise our fridge. First things first, make sure that your fridge is set at 5 degrees Celsius or lower. Then, have a look at our infographic and work out where things go in the fridge. The basics are pretty simple. The top part of the fridge is warmer, so put your ready-to-eats up here. As you move down, it gets colder, so your perishable vegetables and meats go in the bottom section. The vegetables should go in a crisper, and always make sure your raw meat sits below any cooked meat. The door is sort of the hot area of the fridge, which means that you want to put your things with high turnover or your less perishable goods in this section. Always make sure that you put your leftovers into clear containers so that you can see them and keep them at the front of the shelves. Then when you want to buy takeaway next time, look in your fridge first and see if you can whip something up. The other section of the fridge that's really important is your freezer. Always freeze things in manageable sized portions so that you don't waste anything when you defrost. And an interesting thing to know is you should never overpack your freezer. See, the freezer needs air to move around to keep things cool. So when you overpack it, you strain it and make it less efficient. The other thing is, is you often can't close the freezer door. These are really, really simple things to do and they make our food storage so much better. Because we know we can't just sit here, we have to do something. So let's get food wise about food storage.